Hi there. Today's topic, we're going to look at data types. Now, before we crack on with the different types of data, I just want to give you an idea of what statistics actually is. And statistics is an area of maths where information is collected, recorded, displayed, and analyzed. And from now on, any information we have in statistics is what we call data. So I will refer to information as data. Now, another thing is that data can be what's called primary or secondary. And primary data is data that you collect yourself. So, for example, if you went out and did a survey and asked people questions and collected the information that way or collected the data that way, that will be considered primary data because you have physically collected it. But information or data that you you get from books or the internet and other sources is what we call secondary data. Data can also be classified into two categories. We have things like uh, your favorite fruits, your favorite car, your favorite football team, anything that involves words is what we call qualitative data. So anything at all that involves words is qualitative and anything that involves numbers and quantities is what we call quantitative data so that involves numbers now I've got a little table below which will just show us lots of different data and information about cars so let's take a look and see if we can identify some qualitative data and quantitative data. If you have a look over here, you can see that the make and model, uh, they're all words, so Ford, Vauxhall, VW, Fiesta, Vetra, Polo, etc. They're all words, so that is a qualitative data type. And over here, you can see mileage, doors, price, they all involve numbers, so they're all quantitative data types. Now, quantitative data can actually be further categorized. Quantitative data can take specific values, exact values, and that's what we call discrete quantitative data. So, for example, the number of goals uh, a team scores in a football match would be a discrete value, number of goals. So... The reason for that being is that you, you score one goal or two goals or three goals or, or zero goals, but that takes a specific value, so it's a discrete data type. Um, another common example given is shoe size. Now, if you think of shoe size, they come in maybe seven, seven and a half, eight, eight and a half, nine, nine and a half, etc., etc. Now, they're all specific values. There's nothing in between. You don't get seven and three quarters or seven and, and five eighths and anything like that. They take specific values, so they are considered a discrete data type. Now, we can also have what's called continuous data, and continuous data takes a range of values. And what I often say to my students is that to recognize continuous data, it's anything that we measure. So heights, weights, time, they are all measured. And depending on how accurately you measure, they can take a range of values. So for example, you could say, well, a person is a, approximately 170 centimeters tall. Or if you are measuring really accurately, you could say 170.2 centimeters tall, or it could be 170.26 centimeters tall. And again, depending on how accurate you measure, you can get lots of different values. So that's why we call it continuous data. Okay. So I want you to have a go at this. Uh, if you pause the video and on your sheet, if you printed it off, I want you to have a look at these nine questions. So see if you can identify for each question whether the data is qualitative or quantitative. And if it's quantitative, I want you to decide is it discrete or continuous. So pause the video and see if you can match them up. Okay, hopefully you've had a go at that. Um, I'll bring up the solutions now and you can mark your work. 
that's all from me. Uh, I'll see you again sometime. Take it easy.